I find it kind of humorous um, and yet ironic that Click's most distinct differentiator between us and every other product in the industry is also the least understood. I get more questions about this from people who just can't grasp it. As someone with over 25 years of experience in SQL, I think I understand why. So I'm going to try to do a really quick video um, to help really explain these differences um, in a way that I hope will make sense um, because I completely understand there's a lot of experience with an SQL based model. And we think that way. We think in terms of left, right, inner, outer joins. And we think in terms of drill paths. I want to get an overtime report and I want to start with the service line, the departments that are part of that, the units that are part of the departments, the staffing hours for people who worked. And that's the way I build it. It's linear. It, it's kind of the drill up, drill down approach. I've got a question and I need you to build a SQL query using left, right, inner, outers, fulls that are needed to get me the answer to the single question I have. Click's associative experience is different. Forget the left, right, inner, outers. But the problem is we show images like this that look the same. Well, clearly these are joined, so therefore you had to do some type of join. No, we don't. It's just an image to show that there's a relationship. I wish I could show these tables hugging each other or holding hands with each other, not a line the same way that SQL entity diagrams are drawn with because they're not joined. They just both exist in memory and there's a relationship that allows me to talk between them. So let me use the same example though. I want to get an overtime report. Oh wow, I could start with something and I could walk through and see the staff that worked. But I can also start the opposite way. Show me staff who have not worked on these days. Show me the staff that did not do something. But if I'm looking at an overtime report, I may need sources of data that aren't even in SQL. They're not in my EDW. They're not in my data marks. They're disparate data. I can't join to these things. They're not in the same system to join with. Click's associative model can bring these disparate sources into memory. So that as I'm walking and I'm building an overtime thing, I'm answering the question, but more importantly to healthcare, I need to look at the bigger picture. Yes, we saved $100 in this unit by using temp nurses for these weeks instead of ended up billing overtime. What was the change in our length of stay that could be costing us in terms of money we're not getting reimbursed for? What's that do to our readmission rate? Because people may not be trained the same to know what things to follow to ensure patients don't return. We're getting dinged. We're getting penalties on that stuff. What's the impact for these temporary nurses who aren't familiar with the things that patients of these types in this unit go through and their satisfaction drops? And I get dinged for those things. There's... SQL gives us an answer. It's a simple answer to the simple question. The truth in reality is there's a whole lot more. There's why, what, who, where, whens that apply because it's more complex type answers. Click's associative model gives you the ability to join all of these different data sources together, whether they're actually in a single system or not. More importantly, I think, is the when do you get your answers. SQL is great. I've got a question. I want to find the needle in the haystack. Awesome question. Get in line. We're going to put you on our demand management queue. You're going to get prioritized. It's going to get estimized. And we're going to eventually do it. You're going to get your answers next something. Next week, next month, next quarter, next year, next Next time you vote for my FTE requests, it's next that it, it gets you answers, but it's always next. Click's associative experience lets you ask the question, 
follow the data, whether it's the answer you were hoping for or not, it's going to give you the complete answer. You'll have everything there. So if you start seeing things that seem interesting or curious, you can follow that path through the data. Ask the next question. And more importantly, you get your answers now. You're in the meeting room, you get your answers, and instead of leaving saying, hey, our action items are for Dalton to go build us another report, your action items are, we've now made decisions, let's go carry them out and improve the processes. Let's go lower our cost. Let's go improve something for the patients. It's the power of now, folks. That's because the diagrams look the same. I get that it may be misinterpreted as these things being joined. The bigger picture is they're not really joined. Those tables are simply hugging each other. You're not drilling up or down things like you would in an elevator. You're in a distinct tunnel. It's more like a wonk evader. I can follow my nose up or down, sideways, diagonal ways, four ways, back ways, any which ways I want. And more importantly, I can do it with the power of now, not the pain of next.